everybody, it is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and I am here to do TGIF. Thank God it's finished. Um, for not having a lot of time to get things done with craft shows, I seem to have gotten a lot of things done. So my lovely assistant is behind me on the camera and she's going to hand things to me. Um, I also wanted to show you guys where Rhinebeck was last year and I'm going to insert a picture right here. Okay, not where Rhinebeck was last year, but where he was last week. Did everybody see him? There's only one person who got it right about where he was. And this week, not year, he's hidden again. So let me know if you can find him. Uh, there's no prize other than knowing that you found him. <laughs> so that's it. So, lovely assistant, what should I show first? First, we have a lovable little monster hat here for a special order. And he loves you, and he wants, he likes to be tickled. I think it came out really cute. Um, I just did my basic beanie pattern, some basic eyes, and um, I stuffed the nose with orange, the scraps of the orange yarn so that there wouldn't be any polyfill sticking out. And I think it came out really nice, and um, I sent a picture to the person who ordered it, and she really liked it. So, yay! Next, we have... Um, a flower beanie. This is a pattern from Ravelry. Um, I'm filming outside because the, the colors were good, but this one's not coming out that great. This is um, a scalloped beanie um, with my usual flower on it, and when I do the links, I'll be sure to put a link in the description below. This is for another special order. Hello! Let there be light! Next, we have... A monkey beanie. This is an R A K J R A J K R A J K I think pattern. Um, it's a little monkey with ear flaps. Really, really cute. Really stinking cute. Better or worse. What? Better or worse? It's better. So yeah. Rudy. Monkey. Rudy, don't eat that. Next, this is my own pattern, but it is Rudy. something that I saw finished. A finished picture of and I just adapted it for myself and it's a little <laughs> it's a little puppy dog and he has a blue patch on his eye and I think he's really cute and our chihuahuas are singing to us we are back after some technical difficulties I was gonna have Rudy be in the video but he turned off the video so next you guys have seen my frog set did they see my frog set? I think that I showed the frog set last week, um, but I added to it. So you've seen the little baby hat, you've seen the little webbed booties, and this is a textured diaper cover to go with it. So it is so, oh, I can't show up without my hand. It's really cute, and I'm I'm really happy with it. It's the first time I made a diaper cover, and again, the person who ordered it <coughs> got a picture, <laughs> and she really liked it. And Rudy still has his puppy teeth, <laughs> and doesn't understand that they hurt. So, frog set. Next set, completely my own set. Um, first, there's some little red and black red and black Mary Jane booties and then oh so cute a little ladybug hat and um I don't know if you can see but I put ties on the antennas <laughs> so really cute and I gave her blue eyes to just contrast the black a little bit because I didn't want to overkill it with black and a little textured diaper cover with polka dots on the behind so cute. <laughs> so cute. So, so, so cute. I mean, how adorable is that going to be? I hope I get pictures because, I mean, they're cute when, I think they're cute when I make them, but, I mean, they're great. Like, my Princess Leia hat, somebody bought my Princess Leia hat this weekend, and the girl put it on, and I was, like, almost in tears. The next thing I have to show you is a little baby bib crocheted out of cotton with a little doggy patch on it um no 
Not a good idea, Kristen. More technical difficulties. <laughs> and then we have another bib for... The first bib was for a uh, um, shower present for a friend's daughter. And this one is for an order with a little ducky on it. So cute. So, so cute. Do we have anything else? I think we have some... Oh! You guys have seen my first... Oh, never mind. You guys have seen my first felted hedgehog. And I made a boober felted hedgehog. And I don't know... Oops. You just got a sneak peek. Um, I don't know if I showed you this one before I felted it, but um, Boober was a character on Fraggle Rock, and Kristen saw me making this and said, oh my gosh, it looks like Boober. So here is Boober the Hedgehog and Rudy the Bernie Mountain Dog. All you can see is his paws. Oh, he's waving. Oh, what a good boy. So the last hedgehog was for our puppies. This one is not. This one is for me and there might be like 10 or 11 or 50 more planned so boober the felted hedgehog and then i think i have one more thing oh no i have the business card things too um first i have a pair of stripy socks this <laughs> oh rudy didn't like that noise um this is a pair of socks for Kristen. It is the Afterthought Heel Socks by Laura Linehan. Um, it's knit out of lollipop yarn, really? self-striping in the Treat Me Nice colorway. And Kristen loves them. Um, I did make a mistake on the heel, and I had to cut the heel off and re-knit the heel, but um, that doesn't scare me anymore. It used to. Socks. And last but not least, um, Kristen sent me a tutorial to make um, origami business card holders, and I didn't have the right size paper. And um, some people know that I've tried origami in the past, and I just can't do it. I am an epic fail, um, but that's okay. So I didn't have the right size paper for the tutorial that Kristen sent me, and I wish you could see her right now because um, if she wasn't in her pajamas, I would make her come over here and be on the video because she is... Um, flailing the sock blockers around like, um, she's at Six Gun City. <laughs> what? Like what? Charlie's Speak! Woof! <laughs> she says like Charlie's Angels, in case you couldn't hear. So anyway, I really liked the origami, um, business card holder that Kristen sent me, but I had the wrong size paper. I only had six by six inch origami paper, and I thought it would be really neat because to, I like to include a business card, and I also ma had care tags made, which they're going to be backwards. Oh. oh, that's even upside down. Um, so I like to include these in all of the things I ship out. So I found a tutorial to make business card holders out of, um, any origami paper. And they were super easy, and I didn't fail, and... Um, like everything I do, I went a little overboard and I decided that I was going to get ready for all of my, you know, because I'm going to get 50 orders in the next five minutes. And, um, I made a whole bunch. Oh, Rudy's got to pee. So, that is all we have for this week. And I don't know when my next video will be. It might be this... It might be next week. It might be the week after. We have some family coming in to visit. I'm um, not sure how long they're going to be here. Um, but I hope that everybody likes um, what I had to show. And I'm saying I'm a lot, and I apologize for that. I did want to ask one question. Um, in some of the podcasts that I watch, now this isn't a podcast. This is just a whenever I feel like it. Put up a thank God it's finished. Um, in some of the podcasts I watch, they have a segment for stash enhancement where they show things that they have purchased. Now, I am trying... <laughs> trying to be more more deliberate in my yarn purchases but I'm sure there will still be things that I buy so if you would like to see a stash enhancement segment to my videos um, just let me know down below and when I do have stash enhancement I will share that with all of you instead of doing a yarn haul video so that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye!